so welcome back to another one. Today's a quick one, it literally, I'm doing it impromptu because I've looked outside this morning and it's not raining and I've got a little couple of hours. So I thought, why don't we fly out to the car quickly and fit the new bonnet release handle. So let's not do no messing about, let's just get straight out there and we'll work it out as we go. Right, so we're in the car. I'm gonna quickly show you what tools I think we'll need. I honestly, I've only done a tiny, tiny little 10 minutes of research on how to do this, so we're just gonna, we'll work it out, work it out, it shouldn't be that hard. So I'll show you the tools I think you'll need and I'll show you the new handle and I'll try and get the camera position and get some decent light there so we can, yeah, we can do it. So let me spin the camera around and I'll show you the tools. Right, so here we go, the goodies. So the tools, I've got some long nose pliers just in case and a flat head. And then we've got our trim removal tools so we don't damage up the trim. The part is an official Audi part. Let's see how much it cost. It was 17.95. So it's not bad for an official Audi part. Um, and it's in there. What's it say? Uh, made in Slovenia. So there you go. But that's the part anyway, I hope. I hope this, we've got the right one. So all right, let's get down there and try and do this. This is going to start off doing. We're going to move this panel quickly first. Let's see, I just popped it. It's just where the fuses are kept. We've been in here before in past videos. I don't want to come out. Who's that? Is that right there? That's already broken. Oh no, that's what it is. But it's in there, it's just your fuses. So now, I think we're going to take this trim panel off. Do we want to get behind here? This is where the handle actually lives. So let me get you set up and we'll try and get it off together. Hopefully it's just clipped. So hopefully you can see this, this is where the handle's meant to go. So if we get, manage to get this panel off. Oh, there, there's one clip. Oh, quite that. Oh, it feels quite big, that. Not quite that. Let's see this one here. Circuitry down there. I don't think it should be there. Right. So you go, that's the panel off. All that is is a clip there, clip there, which just broke off, and a clip there. That's it, we just lost the metal out of them, that's all. So we get the old lost the metal bit off of our clip. So we just <sighs> Alright, that one doesn't want to come out, so we'll leave it in there for now. I do not know what this is. Oh, this is for my lights, this is for my lights, so don't worry about this. So, let me get your back. Right, let's get out of the way a minute. Hopefully we don't mess up the lights now as well. Right. So bring the camera over. So this is your mechanism here. So this is the bit that snapped off of our old one. So we've got to try and get that out. Uh, which might be easier said than done. It's literally snapped off. I'm just going to get a screwdriver in there. there it goes. Oh, oh. There we go. So, that's the bit that broke off of our last one. As you can see, it's just snapped off. And then there's your bit in there. There's your wire that goes to the bonnet. So let me quickly get the other one and we'll try and get it in position. Right, so, right, so here's the new part. Let's open it. No, fingers crossed, they've actually sent us the right one for once. Yeah, so there you go, so that's the new one. I'll do that piece on the old one. There we go. So, as you can see, it's this part that snapped off. 
So that's sort of what the whole thing looks like. It lives, just sort of sits in there. So I think the best idea maybe is to put the panel back on before we put this on. You see you've got your official, you probably can't see it, but your official already stamps and everything in there. So be careful of fingers while doing this job. There you go, we busted up our finger. But yeah, so right, let me get the panel back on. And then we'll try and get it fitted in. Let me get all my bits set back where it was as well. So after our test fit, for some reason, the handle doesn't seem to be functioning, so let's try it on without it. There you go, my wire's stuck in it, that's why. There we go. Oh, it doesn't want to function. Let me check our bonnet. Yeah, so our body is releasing, so the fun it is functioning, it is functioning fine. Let's have a control. So all we've got to do now is get all this stuff situated a little bit better. We're in a bit, we're in a bit of a more position because we've got all this for our under thing lights. So if I can try and position this somewhere a little bit better. Uh, we need to keep this out because this is for our controller. All right. Right, that was a bit of a lava, but we're back in. So, handle in the hole. Through. Let's try and get the clips in place properly. Let's make sure we get the bonnet release. So we're getting bonnet release. It's a little stiff, but we didn't have anything before. Right, so there we go. Everything, apart from our cover, is back in place. So you see, so this one has got clips all the way along. You just want to pull it and the clips will, will burst off. And this one, this one's got three clips, like one around here, one around here, and one right down here. And it's pretty easy, and you just clip your new handle in. Just give it a little one like that, your bonnet's open. <laughs> so I know just a quick one, but I hate these fiddly jobs. It made it harder because of the footwell lights. Um, but I only opened the bonnet to check the wall. I haven't had to get into the bonnet to check the wall, so I was a bit worried about that, but little quick fix, little quick video. Hopefully it helps you. Any questions, get in the comments or DM me. Um, yeah, and we'll move forward, didn't it? We move. So, on to the next video. I'll catch you on the next one.